Hey there, what's going on? You're doing good? Good. That's what I want to hear. Today we're going to look over the dev chat from March 25th, 2022. It's good to remember that Paralives is in pre-alpha development. Things can change, be improved, or be removed altogether. Let's get going then, shall we? We're going to begin with the community voted question. I guess it would be good to point out that the devs post on their Patreon page every week. Sometimes they make these posts public after a while, but most of the time they are exclusive content. If you want to learn about how you can access these posts, please go to their Patreon page. I have the link in the description. Anywho, not every clothing will be layerable with each other, only a certain few. Very cool indeed. I honestly wasn't expecting this feature and it's truly amazing. On to some general questions, answers, and suggestions. This is a very important question. Will the game have autosave? Manual saves are planned right now, but they are looking into an autosave feature. Nothing is confirmed. I hope that they can figure out a solution for autosave because that would be very, very useful. I think we can all agree on that. This is not something I've thought about before. The sound and music system isn't in place, but it is planned to allow modders to add sound assets. Very cool. Now we're on to dev questions, questions for and about the devs. There must be a lot of difficult elements when creating a game. I can't even begin to comprehend all of the issues, challenges, and bugs that the developers have and will continue to resolve and overcome. With that being said, what ended up being harder than expected? Slider UI, refactoring the material system for rendering, and finding the musical style of the game are a few of the harder than expected elements. Do you want some pet pics? Yes. Show me yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because here they are. On to some live mode stuff. Play on my ego. Will paras be able to go on extended business trips or partake in jobs that force them to leave home for a while? As of right now, this isn't planned. If there was a business trip type element to a job, there could be a few ways it could benefit you or your work performance. If they work alone, there might be a time skip. Maybe it improves their job performance. Maybe there'd be windows that pop up and allow the players to decide some stuff. Is this something you'd like to see in Para Lives? I think it'd be cool. Paras without a house or property might be difficult to do. There are a few reasons for this. The character has to be able to survive without a house. They'd have to design the game with that in mind. So public amenities and places to get mail and places to sleep and get food. Furthermore, they don't want to display true homelessness in a realistic way, such as characters begging or having a harder time finding employment. That could be hard to deal with, especially if you've been through homelessness or you know somebody who's dealing with that. On the flip side, pairs owning multiple lots might be doable because that's less of a challenge to include. Our final category of questions, answers, and ideas are ones about the Paramaker. I know this has been a hot topic for a long time now. Will there be representation of disabilities in Paralives? Sadly, we still don't have a confirmation on this. I love the idea of including costumes. We'd need that for Halloween or costume parties anyways, right? Although sadly, this is not top priority for launch. At the moment, there are special variations of hairstyles when hats are applied. This is to prevent clipping, so there isn't any see-through or mesh hats or veils as of right now. The plan is to have no loading screen between live mode and the para maker. The backdrop will be where the para is physically standing. This reminds me of the character editor in Eco, which I liked because of this aspect. It was kind of funny to see people walking by you or animals moving in the background as you edit your character. There are still a lot of things that will need to be worked on for this to actually work. Like live backdrops present a challenge because it could cause some weird stuff to happen in the background. If you want to read the dev chat from today, I've left the link for it in the description. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I hope you're doing fantastic. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!